So here you can see that I'm already in a Sway document storyline and now let's see how we can work with style customization. So in order to work with style customization, I'm going to go to the design option right here where I have a bunch of uh, components right here. So this is the style which is selected. So I'm just going to go around and choose a style I like and then we can customize that out as well. So I choose a red theme and then over here we can see that customize is an option. So if I were to go in to customize, what happens is that you have the color inspiration which is created uh, by default, but over here you can add in custom colors as well. So if you know hexadecimal codes, for example, you can just type it in. For example, I want red, so I'm going to press FF00, FF, and you can see that it is magenta. I want to have it red, so I'm just going to go around and type in FF0000, which is the hexadecimal code for red. If you are not familiar with hexadecimal codes for color, remember that the first two digits are for red, the second two are for green, and the last two are for blue. So if I were to go over here and type in FF in between, it's green as you can see, and if I were to type FF, that's blue. So if I were to mix out, let's say, uh, 77 value of uh, red with uh, FF value of uh, blue, then I get this color just like that. So that is how you can work around. And once you choose that, you can see a variation of color palettes that you can choose from right over here. And you can apply that onto your design just like this, as you can see. And that is how it looks like. So you can just go around and work around with them just like that. Another thing that you can also do is uh, upload an image. So there is no image in uh, my document, so it is not taking any color reference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an image right here. So I'm just going to go around and search for, let's say, for example, Microsoft. The Microsoft logo is here. And I'm just going to bring in the logo right here, let's say, for example. So now what I can do is I can go into design, into customize, and here you can see the Microsoft logo is there. So if I were to go inside, you can see that it takes the colors in the logo and it makes the color palettes for me, just like that. So not all of them are beautiful again, but you can choose the one that you like and it matches the color theme according to your logo, just like that. So same colors, similar colors are selected for you, like blue is selected in this case and so forth, just like that. So you can just go around and choose the one you like. So once you have that, what you can do is you can work around with different font choices over here as well. So once you go to font choices, there are different fonts that you can choose. Let's say, for example, I want to use Kairos, then I simply select that out and it is uh, replaced with the Kairos and Georgia for smaller text, just like that, as you can see. So you can just go around. Let's say I want to use a uh, universe condense right here, and that text is used out. And over here, there's the animation emphasis. We're going to see um, regarding that in a while, but over here, let's uh, focus on text size. So if I were to decrease the text size, the text becomes small. So I can just move out the slider right here and make it large, just like this, as you can see. So as I make it larger, uh, the text size will become larger. So it is simply moving around the slider just like this. What about the animation then? So whenever we go on to the presentation mode, there is an animation applied to it. So if I were to do subtle animation, so there's almost no animation, just a bit of animation. So let's just do that. If I were to do that and go to play, as I scroll around, there's not much of an animation thing going on. So let's just go around and see how this actually looks like. So if I were to move this, there's not much animation happening altogether. So let me just go on and go back right over here. Let's just go back. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it into intense animation and let's see how that looks like. So if I were to press play and go around, uh, the animation will uh, be in effect. So you can see that this slides in just like that. So if I were to go around and that is the animation. So let's, let me just go around and see how that looks like over here. So in order to see the animation even more clearly, I'm just going to change it out into the slide mode from the main menu. So animation is intense. So if I were to close this out and if I were to go around onto styles, let's go to the slide mode and you can see animation even better. So if I were to press the play button, you can see that this is the first slide and I'm going to press next 
and intense animation. So animation will be playing out just like this, as you can see. So you want to have much more like an interactive common, uh, interactive content just like this. You can see that this is how everything appears and things look much more dynamic once you add in the animation. So that is how you can work around with the style customization options inside of Microsoft Sway. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.